So if you're thinking about wanting to hypnotize somebody, one of the things that's very, very important for you to understand is that if they aren't inclined to follow your instructions, it's not going to work. Okay? You have to have their trust. What you have to do in order to gain their trust, and to put it honestly, you've got to be trustworthy. They've got to know it. Not just because, well, you've got a history or a relationship. You can earn someone's trust very quickly. And the way you do that is through building what we call rapport. Okay? To understand rapport, you've got to understand something that's natural. All right? There's, there's a movie, what was it called? Um, Dead Poets Society with Robin Williams. And there was this scene. If you haven't seen it, I would strongly encourage you, Netflix, see if it's there, go, Dead Poets Society, good movie. Um, there's a scene where the teacher takes the students outside and selects three students and has them start walking in a circle. And at first, they're all doing their own thing. But after a little bit, as they're walking, they start to fall into step with each other. And then once that happens, then they start to actually align so that it's left, right, left, right. And everybody else becomes aware of this, and then they start clapping. And so they're stomping their feet and clapping their hands in time to the steps of the people. And so it takes very little time. And the entire class is out there, all in sync with each other. Now, it sounds like you know, hey, it's fiction, right? That doesn't really happen. Yes, that would actually happen. In fact, there's, um, in engineering, you have to be, like with a bridge, you have to be very careful. If you make a footbridge, you got to be careful because if you've got a lot of people on the bridge walking, they will naturally tend to fall into step with each other. And the force on that bridge, when everybody steps at the same time, is hundreds of times what it would be if everybody was just standing still. And so the bridges have to be very strong, but that's neither here nor there. Yes, it is a natural phenomenon for people to fall into sync with each other. And when people are in sync with each other, they feel connected. Okay, and that's because they are connected, but that's neither here nor there. The point being that if you want someone to trust you enough that they will actually follow your instructions, one of the things that you can do to help is to get in sync with them. Now you can do it in an artificial way, and I'll tell you a little bit about that, but my emphasis would be on do it in a genuine way, okay? The artificial way is to just mimic what naturally happens. What naturally happens when you have two people that are conversing and they are in mutual respect, and they are um, giving each other their full attention, is they will tend, like the people walking, to fall into step with each other physically. They will tend to breathe at the same times. They will tend to talk at the same pace. They will tend to take the same attitudes and postures. They will actually tend to mirror each other. Okay. This just naturally happens to everyone who is in that state that is called rapport. Now, the artificial way is to pay attention to what they're doing and, in a non-obvious way, mirror it consciously. Okay? But, here's the thing, if your internal state isn't in alignment as well, if you're just doing it for show, you may not get the results you're really after, which is why I say you want to do it in a genuine way. So what you can do is you can understand that, hey, my goal here is to get into sync with this person. I want to get into their mindset. I want to understand them. I want them to know that I understand them. Okay? Think about that. How do you do that? Well, the first part is listen. Stop talking and listen. Listen to what they have to say. Express yourself in a genuine way, saying, you know what, I care about what you have to say. Listen, 
express the fact that you're listening and just let yourself fall into step with them okay if you want to do the actions to facilitate that you can do the matching the mirroring once you've gotten that then you can do some manipulation type things such as pacing and leading and all that stuff I'm not going to get into that right now the main thing is what you want to do before you ever begin to work with somebody is get them compliant they need to trust you okay you do that by being trustworthy by showing that you're trustworthy by listening to them okay listen to what it is they're saying listen to what it is they want it there's other ways of course but if you want to dabble if you want to play if you want to experience this for yourself that's where I recommend you start okay get rapport you can look it up on the internet there's probably books there's websites there's all kinds of things there's talks about you know how where people look and you can use the same language that's something that's very very valuable to understand some people are visual and so they will talk about you know I do you see what I mean or they'll say oh yeah I feel you that's you know or that is such an interesting vibe right so different words they teach you how they think and if you cue on that and if you hear that whether you do it consciously or unconsciously my recommendation would be don't try to be artificial about it all the training that I've ever heard so far always emphasizes do this do this do this it's like that's what you're going to naturally do if you actually go through the motion in other words don't go through the motions actually let yourself get into rapport with them so that they will be in rapport with you make sense okay there's lots of resources out there this video obviously cannot do all of that justice but practice that little bit of get into the mindset of I'm going to interact with this person I'm not going to jump straight into trying to manipulate them or to hypnotize them or what have you start with talking to them asking them questions where you're from what do you you know what's important to you uh, whatever whatever is contextually relevant and appropriate talk to them get to know them show an interest in them so that they feel comfortable with you there's lots to learn but start there and practice it